Okay, for this calculus problem, we're being asked to find the equation of the tangent line to this exponential function at the point 3, 3. So I went ahead and graphed it, uh, a rough sketch. Um, the graph's not great, but you, you get the idea. Um, the translations that are done here, the minus 3 is going to move that graph to the right three units, and the plus 1 is going to move it up one unit, and the 2 is going to stretch it a little bit. So uh, this is just a rough sketch of it. Um, here's 3, 3. Uh, that's the point of tangency, and I went ahead and drew the yellow tangent line as well. So uh, this is a very common calc, calc 1 problem where they ask you to find the equation of a tangent line to an exponential function because it requires you doing two things. One new thing is finding the derivative of this exponential function, but just so they're not boring plug-and-chug problems just taking derivative after derivative, they'll also combine this problem with something you did a long time ago and finding tangent lines. So uh, you actually have to do two things here. So uh, let's remember to find the equation of any line, you need to put it in uh, most likely one of these two forms are the most common. Y equals MX plus B, that's slope intercept form, or Y minus Y1 equals M parentheses x minus x1 this is called point slope form uh, I, I'm kind of of the opinion that this form here would be our best bet for this type of problem because this one allows you to have any given x y point for the slope intercept form the b has to be the y intercept but the problem for our uh, particular uh, exercise is that the point that we're given is not on the uh, y axis it's not a y intercept so that's why I'm kind of leaning towards using point slope form instead. So let's look at this guy. Who, who are these terms? Well, x1, y1, that's the given point. That's a point on the line. So for instance, I know that 3, 3 is a point on the line. So I can actually start filling in my answer here. So the answer, the equation of the tangent line would be y minus 3 equals blank, that's m, I don't know what m is yet, parentheses x minus 3. So the only real question is what's the m? Well, what does m stand for? Well, you might recall m stands for the slope of the curve at the given point. It's the slope. So let's look back up here for a minute. How would we find the slope of this exponential curve right here at the point of tangency? Well, derivatives, of course, right? We, we spent a lot of time studying derivatives, and uh, we all know that the uh, derivative function will give you the slope at any point. So really this boils down to, and if I have space, I'll just do it up here in the corner, boils down to just finding the derivative of this exponential function. So this requires that we understand uh, exponential derivative rules. So here we go. Um, derivative of 2e to the x minus 3 plus 1. First up, the plus 1 goes away because it's a constant. The 2, I like to use the, the term tag-along constant. 2 is just going to hang around because it's being multiplied times the function e to the x minus 3. So really, this, is, this guy right here is the main guy we have to differentiate. Now, if that was just e to the x, we would say the derivative is e to the x. But now, how do we handle if there's composition uh, to where the exponent isn't just an x? Well, here's what we do. We have our tag-along 2. You copy the exponential function, e to the x minus 3, and then we follow that with the derivative of the exponent. What we're using here is the chain rule, if you'll recall. We're using the chain rule. So times the derivative of the exponent, but that's just 1. So actually there's nothing else to write for this particular problem. Now I want the slope right here. So I'm going to plug in 3 into the derivative because that's the x-coordinate that I'm looking for. So 3 minus 3 is 0, e to the 0 is 1, 1 times 2 is 2. So this guy's slope, this m, is going to be 2 right here. And it even kind of looks like that on my graph. Okay, so plug this in. So y minus 3 equals 2 times the quantity x minus 3. Um, most instructors would actually prefer to have this answer back in slope-intercept form, so let's give it to them in slope-intercept form. y minus 3 equals 2x minus 6. When we distribute this 2, add the 3 to the right-hand side. y equals 2x uh, minus 3. Okay, so here's our tangent line. 
paired with that original exponential function. Now when you're done and you're doing a tangent line problem, what I would suggest is go into your TI real quickly and just plug in both of them and just see, you know, see how accurate it looks. So we'll go to y equals and first up let's graph that exponential function. What was it? It was um, 2 times e. e is on the left hand side of your um, the uh, left hand side of your calculator by the natural log button e to the x minus 3 make sure to get out of the parentheses or close um, uh, get out of the exponent or close off those parentheses if you have an older style calculator uh, and then plus 1 and then let's also graph with that the function 2x minus 3 and if we did it right if we did this right what should happen is the graph should come down and lightly touch, uh, lightly touch the curve at the point 33. So there's the exponential curve. Um, there is the tangent line. And sure enough, if you look at my cursor right here at 123, 123 point of tangency, and everything looks perfect.